Hey everybody, it's time to fire up the old heater. This is my oil heater. Y'all can go and look at my other videos going back a few years. And this one here uses used motor oil. Um, my own build. $200 to build it. Been using it for years. And this year, the first year, I actually had to do a little slight cleaning on the exhaust up here. So we're going to throw in a napkin. We've got the oil started over here. It's just a little slight drip right there. You see that? That's what feeds my oil burner right in there and we're going to get it fired up using a little 90 percent alcohol and get the burner going there's flame in there and we'll turn on the big uh fan this big bilge blower uh go look at my other videos you'll see with this but what we're going to deal with today is going to be some cool batteries um in here in this box right here so let me get this box set up and i'll explain what i've got and you'll see any of the links to where i got these down below the videos but they're intended to replace the big nicad for the porter cables numerous porter cable tools that i own and this is going to be a good advancement so let's get started all right guys we're working on changing out a lot of our equipment because uh, NICAD technology has come a long way and they're less fire risk. I lost a $7,000 trailer to fire and we're going to have uh, uh, the, the tools I gave Kira are the guinea pig tools. So uh, that's what we're working with right now. Alright, after years of using NICAD, we have decided to convert more of our saws and drills over to lithium. These are batteries that are to replace the original NICAD batteries. Um, they make a lot of these aftermarket batteries. Now this is an original Porter cable, but these companies like Power Extra, but the replacement battery that you do not see very often, they're hard to find, and look at the bottom of my video, below where the info date and upload information's at. Uh, there's two things you have to get to convert these porter cables and the similar drills or saws or grinders to the lithium and not have any problems. You cannot use this charger on that, but this charger uses can do both. It can charge both lithium and NICAD or nickel metal hydride, which was a very short-lived version that porter cable had. So what we're working with right now is a basically similar powered battery this is 1.5 amp hour this one if of course the seller is to be believed is a bizway 2 amp hour battery right there 36 watt hour so what we're trying to do is we're trying to because kira loves taking stuff apart and she loves building we do build a lot of trailers um, we're going to set this thing up similar to the charger which i'm sure it's just the knockoff model but this one here is nicad only now porter cable makes a nicad slash lithium ion charger and the problem is is that you can't find them they discontinued them because they're trying to force you to buy their 20 volt products which i'm i'm perfectly happy with the power of these old drills and this impact is just to die for I me. Mean, it makes an amazing amount of power. The saw is very dead on accurate, easy to adjust. And the new stuff has got just a little more China-ism to it than the old stuff. So um, to show you a difference here, this charger will charge both. Battery is snapped in. And taking it off of this, this charger will charge the NICAD also, that charger here will do both. These are about $39 worth every cent. And the batteries are about $25 to $30. And I've, I've seen a few reviews said they are just awesome. And I try to stick with this company here, Bizway, um, because even though they're an eBay seller, they've been around a long time and they've got a pretty good rating. So that means that they ain't selling a lot of duds. I'm gonna go ahead and get her hooked up here and get the charge controller or the charge the charge uh charging unit i'm going to go ahead and get the charging unit hooked up 
to get those in there it is and then we'll go ahead and get it uh, ready for powering it up and I'll put it on my power here where I've got this one also setting at and this one here running up to the little cheap one they used to send with the tools and it works it takes about a half a day this one here does it in about an hour this one here is supposed to do these batteries in 45 minutes to an hour also so we're going to set it over here and then we're going to put it charging and it'll give you an idea what it does plug it in up here and this has to be on my true sine wave because these are electronics so my big true sine wave inverter has to run these now put this battery on here and it's going to blink green blinking which means it is charging solid and then it's an over temp or under temp condition it'll have the red and a red long and short red and then if it's a faulted battery it'll just flash real fast red so this one here is charging there now we're going to this hasn't been on a charger she just got these today in the shipment in the mail so we're going to put this on here and the guy says they come pretty much fully charged We'll look at that it's got a blinking on it and we're gonna give it a little bit of time and see how quick it comes up to solid and the blinking is getting longer that means it's probably correct the battery is charged let me uh, pause and then we're gonna hook it up to a tool and do a little comparison there guys I'm back with it was about seven minutes here um, it is fully charged so the battery was practically fully charged from the beginning um, it does come with the charger, comes with some real nice paperwork, and the battery comes with good details on it. Um, what we're going to do is we're going to let Kira take her uh, impact with the original battery on it. It's a new original battery, uh, 1.5 amp hour, so it's less time, but it still should be as powerful voltage-wise. Um, to go ahead and run some screws in to let her, since she's been using it, determine there's Mr. Preston there, determine um, whether or not in her view go ahead and let her run a few of them run about three on each side see what you think about it it's her upgrade so I'm letting her know or I'm have her decide whether or not she wants to stay with the old batteries or go with the new ones buries it pretty good and deep there you know, Porter Cable makes a decent product. They're not the great ones. They're not DeWalt's or Milwaukee's or Bosch or something. But they're pretty good. All right, so let's go change out to that other battery. I'll give her the new battery. This is the new lithium-ion one. All right, so she's going to run that one. Give it a spin. Check it right quick. Oh Lord, y'all hear the difference there? <laughs> All right, so let her get over here and see if it makes a big difference here. Oh wow, now that's different. Now that was um, original Porter Cable battery versus the new one. That is quite a bit faster. Does it feel like it's got more power? Mm-hmm. Is it a lot lighter or? equal it's a lot lighter so you can see one thing that she has achieved is it don't look bad on the tool it is I'll tell you this right now it's a hell of a lot lighter and as far as durability I don't know yet we haven't tested this for durability but the reports coming back on them say they are quite significant in durability so when you think about the fact that a lot lighter mm -hmm. okay so she kind of likes both of them she's she's uh she's used to her old battery but you can take a look there and see that it's this thing here is probably man i'd say it's almost a half pound to three quarters of a pound heavier than the lithium battery but you can listen to this I mean I'm gonna I'm gonna real quick here I don't want to hold everybody up on the video but I want to real quick listen okay and then 
Take it. It's even got a cooler looking latch on the back. You see that? Um, so we'll go ahead and take this and we'll put it back on the original battery and see if we make a different sound here. So you can hear that. All right, your comparison, guys, if y'all want to buy one, that's why I put the links down at the bottom. You get to see it done. Um, putting it on a different drills. It fits everything, or supposed to, that the other battery fits, which, you know, probably this is a redundant thing that somebody will complain about, but. Pretty good run. And if you think about cutting with this big saw here, and they are very good saws. Porter Cable actually made some really good saws I use for framing a lot. The same battery, which I think uh, I'll be ordering a bunch of these. Well, they even go, it, that even snaps in my hand easier. The same battery, hold that button in, I'm gonna let y'all listen. Okay, pretty old saw, so let's try the uh, the um, other battery on it go ahead and get a uh, this one just came off charger so that was on that charger there a lot harder to one-hand it but listen here it's obvious that that battery's got more power how long it'll last I don't know but those are the parts you'll need so you guys get what you want Go lithium and seriously reduce the weight. All right, y'all be good.